2. And you can see I have everything hyperlinked to the right page and it's all been checked. Here's my index page, my exit page, my resume page, my development and reflection page, and those are just simply standalone pages. I've gotten rid of the green box. So the University Abilities, that needs one. If you were to add another page to this, if you needed more than one, you would simply have to copy this and then add the link. So now it's time to finish this up. So I'm going to go back to page one and I'm going to, remember I told you to take a digital picture in, in group one, you're going to go find your folder and should be your last name portfolio. There's my picture and I'm going to insert. So I went to insert picture. Now it's awfully large and I don't need my picture that large. And I'm going to put it on here wherever I'd like. So my picture's on there now. Um, the only part that you are responsible for in this class is your resume. So you will have to keep that in mind. Make sure you're saving often as you do this. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of these other ones. Here's one for University Abilities, and you have a copy of these. She's made her links very um, graphic and then hyperlinked the links. And she's also, in her index, she's put each of the categories and then what she did below for them. And then for her educational abilities, her development and reflection, and her resume. Another example is Kayla's, and I'm just waiting for it to open. It's being a little slow, but bear with me. I'll give it a few minutes. It might have timed out on me. Um, there are a lot of things you can do that with this. Be very creative. Have fun working with it. And it's not going to open, I don't think. Oh, there it is. Here's Kayla's. Here's a reflection or video. She's done it a little different. Her home button. Here's her resume. Oh. She's got a different kind of setting here. Here's her development and reflection. Her evaluate. Her implement. She's got listening to a reflection. Here's her educational abilities. Effective citizenship. Click the document to read hers. Reflection. Here's her document to view the lesson plan. And it continues up. So her title page. Here's her different links to her pages. Um, I hope these examples help. And I'm hoping that I can use some of your examples as um, I get to know you and I see what you're doing. One of the last things you want to do is you're going to want to pick out a design. And you can simply choose one of these or you can go on the internet. And there are many designs that you can use on the internet. You can change the colors. I'll change the colors here. You can change the colors. You can change the fonts for everything. Don't get anything too wild. Um, most principals or somebody that's going to read this, we're old, and we have to use reading glasses. So um, keeping the font normal is is a good idea. Nothing too fancy because it can be hard to read. Um, you can have different effects during it, but I really don't. Um, I wouldn't do the effects personally. But have fun with this. You can see sometimes when you change things it messes things up and you'll have to go back in and fix it. So this one I might need to make a little larger. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I'm here to help. Have fun.